Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding top ranked songs, both in Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Spotify interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the songs that have ranked in the top position, output the track name and the number of times it ranked at the top, sort your records by the number of times the song was in the top position in the descending order. So basically we are given a data frame called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking and we are expected an pandas data frame output which basically has two columns, the track name and the number of times the track was in top position right in descending order right so if we preview the data frame that we are given so you have different you know information so a different id of the song the position name of the track like who sung it streams url date region etc right so what we need to do for this question is we need to group by each of the track name right but before that what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are only you know dealing with the rows which has position is equal to one. Why? Because we are only concerned about tracks that were at top at some time, right? So it does not matter which, but at some time they were top, right? So we first thing we should do is we should perform a Boolean indexing to make sure that we only keep those rows where position is equal to one. And then from there, we can group by the track name and count the like different number of IDs because each song is going to have a unique ID, right? So if you count the number of times that ID is appearing, right? So basically that is the number of times that they are at top. Right. So that is what we're going to do. So here we are given a data frame called Spotify worldwide daily song ranking. Right. So the first thing is we should only keep those rows where, you know, the position is equal to one. So we can perform a Boolean indexing. So what we can do is we can copy this data frame. The name of the data frame is very long. Right. So here in the position column, right. So position is equal to equal to one. Right. Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So if you look at it, right, so here it will be having all the track names which were at some time at the top position, right? So we have that. And then what we can do is we can, since the name of this data frame is too long, we can, you know, uh, store this in a data frame called DF. And then what we can do is from this top ranked tracks, what we can do is we can group by, right, group by the track name column, right, group by the track name column. And then from the ID column, we can perform a count, right? So let me run this, right? Let's see what we are getting. So if you look at it, right? So you have the different count of IDs. Why this does not have the column track name? Because we are grouping by the track name. So that is the index here, right? So to get that as a column, we need to write as index is equal to false right so once we do this and then let me run this so now you have the track name and the id so basically this column says id because we are counting the id but actually this is a count of the number of times the song was at top right so you know to make sure that you know it aligns with our definition we should you know rename this column so what we can do is we can write dot rename and then what do we need to rename columns, right? Columns is equal to, and then we can provide key value pairs. So we need to change the value from ID to times top one, right? So times top one, let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now you have the track name and the time stop one, right? But this is not yet sorted in decreasing manner of the number of times a song was at the top, right? So we need to use dot sort values method. So dot sort values by which column do we need to sort it by? Obviously the number of times top, right? So by times top one, and then should it be ascending order? No, right? So we write ascending is equal to false because we need to sort it in descending manner, right? So is equal to false. Okay, let me run this. Okay, so now we have the track name and the time stop one and our output is exactly as the expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. 
So again, if you look at it, the question is same, right? So we are given a table called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking. The expected output is same as well, like two columns, track name and number of times it was at the top. Uh, if you preview the table, like it also has the same values and all the same columns, right? So again, we need to make sure that from this, you know, table called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking, we are only concerned with those rows where the position was equal to first, right? Because we are only concerned with top songs. So where position is equal to one, then what we are doing is, we we are grouping by the track name right so group by the track name and then you return the track name so return the track name and then count the id right and since in the expected output it should be alias as times top one so we can alias this as times top one and so this also should be ordered by times top one in descending order right so order by times top one in descending manner okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so if you look at it yeah our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know from this table or data frame called spotify worldwide daily song ranking we only concerned with you know the songs that were at the top position so we made sure that we are only dealing with those rows and then we grouped by the track name counted the number of times they made the top list right and ordered by time the number of times they made the top list in decreasing manner so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.